Hey guys, welcome to another lunch home review. Today I'm gonna try this eating well meal. These were $4.29 at Kroger. This one is the chicken and wild rife stroganoff. It's roasted white meat or roasted white chicken. I don't know why they say white meat chicken. Um, creamy mushroom sauce, whole grain wild rice, Brussels sprouts, and carrots. And I have to be honest with you, I don't like Brussels sprouts really, but it's been ages since I had them, so I'm gonna give them a fair shot. Um, we'll see what they're like. 20 grams of protein, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, no antibiotics, one cup of vegetables are packed. And let's see. 290 calories, not bad at all. Um, sodium's not horrible. I mean, it's all pretty decent for you. Cholesterol's a little higher than I was expecting, but, but whatever. So remove it from the package. Do not do, do not pierce it or anything like that. Um, uh, huh, this one's interesting. This one's a different one. So this one we're going to microwave for five. I'm going to do it for five minutes. Actually, I might even do it for six and a half because, I mean, uh, I'll do it for, mm, I'll do it for five and a half. And then, um, no, I may do it for five. I'll do it for five. And then um, this one you actually stir up and then you do it for another minute and a half to two minutes. The, and previously, I've tried it on the um, eight and a half minutes and it's been too much. So um, it scorches the outside, so I'm going to drop the time down a little bit. And But I've never had it to where you, you stirred it, so that's interesting. Um, okay, so anyway, you pretty much see the meal here. I'm going to open it so you can get a better look at it. And so far I've been pretty impressed with these um, the past few times I've tried them. Here it is, it's all vacuum sealed or whatever. Maybe it's not vacuum sealed, it's whatever it's sealed. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and uh, it smells good. I do have to say that. Dry it out a little bit back in the corner, but not too bad. Um, i tell you what, hopefully I like Brussels sprouts because they gave me a bunch of them. So uh, I'm going to cut this chicken up into smaller pieces too because it's some pretty good size hunks. So, so anyway, I'm going to let this cool off, cut this chicken up a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, hey, give it some time to cool off. I have a bite of chicken, rice, looks like mushrooms, and a carrot. I did not get a Brussels sprout because I'm going to try that separate. I don't want to... I don't want to taint the taste, just in case I don't like it. Hmm, that is really good. It's got a good, um, it's got a good seasoning to the, um, to the gravy, the sauce, whatever you want to call it. Um, the chicken has a good spice to it. The the rice is cooked well. The carrots are even cooked pretty decent. So, hmm. that is really good. I like I like that part of it. Try a Brussels sprout. Here we go. I haven't had Brussels sprouts since I was younger, so maybe I'll like them now. We'll see. It's not bad. It reminds me of a cabbage, and this is the same thing I always thought when I was younger. Um, it reminds me of a cabbage, but it's a little bitter, more bitter than a cabbage is. Um, I don't know. And this one is just like a stem. I don't know if I can pick this up. They literally put a stem in there. I'm not going to eat that, definitely. I might eat the other pieces. I don't know. Um, I might cut up into smaller hunks to where I'm not eating this huge hunk of it. It might taste better. So anyway, the meal itself without the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to give like a four and a half. It's excellent flavor. Um, the um, meal as a total with the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to drop it down to like a four. Still a good meal. I think you'd still get full enough even without the Brussels sprouts. Um, but if you like Brussels sprouts, it don't matter. So, um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.